Good morning from Jerusalem, my beloved city. I just reached Jerusalem because I wanted to take a video of Hebron Road um, from here to uh, Jaffa Gate to the old city. But everything with me is a little bit different, and uh, it's gonna be a little bit longer than that. I'm not sure that you will see everything, but it will be a beautiful video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, be part of my family, and let's begin the video. Welcome to the old station of Jerusalem. We're talking about the end of the time of the Ottomans, um, 1892. It took the Ottomans a lot of years to agree to build that um, train station from here to Jaffa, which is the first train station in the Middle East and you can see this sign here let's say Jaffa wait a minute oh, oh sorry 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 yes Jerusalem on Jaffa uh, sorry Jerusalem Arabic English and Hebrew um I was supposed to go through Hebron Road which is a beautiful road but there's another viewpoint. What should I do? Let's do that viewpoint. Let's do that. I will try to add some ancient uh, pictures of uh, Jerusalem. I've been asked to do that for so many years. And I'll try to do that. This time it's going to be for the first time. I mean, I did it from time to time, but this time I'm actually planning to do that. Then. If you like it, please tell me that and I will continue with it and I will make it even more uh, in, more deeper and deeper. Then, the train station that I does, doesn't work. That, that train station that started as an Ottoman one and the rail was a little bit wider, like one meter. Um, it took them only four hours to reach. Uh, Jaffa. Today I took the train from Tel Aviv, which is Jaffa, to Jerusalem, and it took me 40 minutes. Then you can understand the difference between that and that. Today there's a lot of places to eat here. Uh, this is one of the non-kosher places. Then if you want to eat here on Saturday or Friday night, it will be open. Right now, Sorry, it's a little bit boring, mainly because it's a weekday. And um, then there's a lot, a lot of uh, excitement here, but they're celebrating 10 years um, as an entertainment area, pleasure area. Then it will be, every night it's different and beautiful. A lot of uh, activities at night time, like rock bands, music. Uh, it's beautiful to be here. And as you can see for the children, we do have some activities for little, little children. Then, say goodbye to the train station. And uh, let's leave that beautiful area. This nice walk that I used in one of my videos to the German uh, colony, which is a beautiful colony, and I will prepare a video of it uh, soon. I mean, one day. But I'm heading to uh, to uh, Jaffa Gate. <laughs> Supposed to do that through Heaven Road. Let's see what we're gonna do. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's still not so hot, uh, but it's gonna be hotter and hotter. It's the beginning of summertime in Israel. And uh, the difference between Jerusalem and uh, Tel Aviv is the humidity. In Tel Aviv, it's okay now, but still you can feel that you're sweating a little bit. But in uh, Jerusalem, it's still perfect. As you can see, short sleeves can be very helpful here. Ma? 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 
Mm. It's a lovely day. Well, from time to time you ask me how to support my channel because when I'm taking those videos I cannot work, then you can do that via uh, YouTube beneath the uh, beneath the uh, video you will see at uh, the place that you can actually put the like uh, you will see. Um, uh, a shape of a heart it's called the uh, super things through there you can actually choose uh, how much to support me um, and uh, you can do that via buy me a coffee link and PayPal which is at my description just beneath the video if you won't find it I can send you a link here we can find we can see two important places one of them is St Andrews it's a Scottish church and a guest house which is a beautiful one it actually was built uh, around the 90s 20 something like that uh, when, the, when the British control Israel uh, to memorize the people who died uh, at the First World War, I'm talking about the Scottish one, and St. Andrew, the son of a son, the brother of St. Peter, is one of their saints. Uh, then this is the first place to visit. It's a beautiful place to stay and to even to just to drink coffee. Another option is tombs from the first century. Katev Inom, it's actually uh, uh, cold and I already have been there Unbelievable that from here uh, you can find not only um, Not only tombs from the time of uh, uh, Let's see King David and up I can find these churches then beneath us There's a church it doesn't look like it, but it used to be like it. And, you know what, just because we are here, then let's go for like one or two minutes to see something here. The cave path. Katefi, no. We are talking about tombs from the first temple time. It's different than the tombs from the time of Jesus, if you are Christians. I explained a lot about it. But when they built it here, they found two things. Tombs, which is very important to see. And another thing, I will show you exactly what. Let me take you to see one of the main tombs that survived. It's funny to say, I'm always, I know what I'm going to, I want to do, but I think life is stronger than me. This is an Andrew Church facing to the east, of course. Mm, it's so nice to see it's empty. All right. What we find here is the priestly uh, uh, blessing right behind you. And uh, although it looks so big, it has, that's right, it was for beauty. Someone put it, it uh, for good luck. And we know about it because it's part of the Bible from the book of Numbers 6, 24, 26. It was a silver object uh, were discovered in the bones of one of those people who died here 
and it might be just for, you know, for beauty, a necklace or something like that. Then, in that case, it used to be a cave. That cave been destroyed. I mean, by St. Andrew's Church as we believe. But not because they wanted to do it, because they didn't think about excavating before that. And the idea is that when you died, actually you slept. Then you can see the cushions here. Then you know where the head was. Then here we can see one, two, three, four, five options. Five bodies. An old body is here. Another body was there. You can see the cushion head and what will happen to the, let's see, we do have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What will happen to the eighth body? They will take the bones out, put it in a small osery, and then right there into the storeroom. Then in that case, we can blame the church, but we can actually say thanks to the church because because of it, we found that place. <clears throat> I didn't think that I will actually visit it. Uh, behind that building is a museum of Menachem Begin, one of my, our prime ministers, uh, who actually said, war we can avoid peace we must fight for then then it looks like that lovely this is cave 24 and didn't even plan to be here but uh, and this is part of my tools uh, when I'm taking a group and even though they know that I will take them to A, B and C there's always D, H, F and uh, the tour is uh, different than we planned, mainly because I see the group and I understand them better. And I know what to add and what not to add, and it's actually because of the blue skies, because of God. Then, when I'm telling my groups that that is the plan, but I can we can change it. At the beginning, they are a little bit afraid. Oh no, we want to do that and that and that and that. And then, at the end of the day, we are blessing each other with a big hug because we saw ten times ten uh, more things that we planned. But that is me. <laughs> what can we see from here? The walls of Dal City. This is from the 16th century. And the road that goes all the way up, it's Hebron Road. The one that I'm planning to do at least part of it and show you some old pictures. Uh, but that valley is uh, divided us from the old city. The old city used to be under occupation of Jordan until 1967. It was supposed to be part of United Nations, not part of Israel and Palestine, but at 1967 it became to be part of Israel. Then we will go through that road that road with the bus that you see there goes all the way to um, Mount Zion and the beautiful structure that you see there it's the house of Mary which is under uh, uh, renovation then it's closed but it, next to it is the whole room of the Last Supper and the tomb of King David guess what another Jewish tomb 
Let's go down and start a tour. Uh, Robin Center, it's a nice place to visit, but only if you are interested in the um, right party uh, of uh, Israel that control Israel until now. Um, it's nice. A oh, lot of breeze. Menachem Begin, Erichen Center. <laughs> what about another viewpoint? Of course, yes. He wants to see more. Thank you. <laughs> I already love you. Yes. I'm a little bit strange and different. This statue was built just a year before we came back to Jerusalem. And um, the idea is uh, that it's kind of an obelisk, obelisk for peace. It was built by Tomarkin, which is a very important artist, a sculptor. And you can see, as I see it, kind of a um, War basic and another piece of stone looks like limestone, local stone. And this is Heaven Street, but we're gonna climb first of all up and then we will move to the other side. It is an Andrews Church and Begging Institute, and behind it is uh, uh, the tombs that we just visited. Wanted them to climb because they have he's got four children and because it's noisy. They're doing it. Then let them go, please. But what you can see here is a religious Jew. And guess what? It's not white. Oh gosh! Judaism is not a race? Of course it's not a race. It's a religion. All right. There's so many things to talk about that valley and I love that viewpoint. Let's start with Mount Zion. We already know uh, what's happening there. You can see Jaffa Gate from here and the road that used to take us from Jaffa Gate to Hebron, which is the other side. Right there, let's see for Bethlehem. The Nativity Church is without traffic jam, less than 10 minutes from here. What you can see here is an ancient, ancient British uh, hospital. That British hospital specialized with eye diseases. And, um, and for many years it was right here, but when that border became the border between Israel and, um, and Jordan, Jordan, Israel, and Israel, they moved to Dol City. Now, why the British built um, hospital for eyes disease that because not so far away from here you see that beautiful valley that's hell valley goes all the way like that and hell valleys and at the silum pool silum pool jesus cured a blind man here it is there's a connection between that it's called saint john um, uh, um, hospital and after St. John John the Baptist of course um, they after 1948 they moved 
that um, um, hospital to the old city next to the church of the Holy Sepulchre. I, if you've been with me, you know that I like to eat in the center of the city, then it's in that area. And when you will come with me again, I will show you exactly the spot. Now it's actually in a different place than in that case. That is the Valley of Hell. I know, I know, it's green. Why Hell Valley? If that is the place of heaven, then Hell Valley is here. And what's happened in Hell Valley? In Hell Valley, they used to sacrifice their firstborn son at a Canaanite time. It reminds us the story of Abraham and Isaac, you're right. And Hakeldama, the fields of blood, which is somewhere there, is, um, is one of the, um, one, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking with tons now because I can see a new, a new bridge. And I'm asking myself, could I cross it? Or not now, because I can see people there, but I didn't know about that bridge. But you know that I need to know everything. Then, I don't know, maybe we will do it later on. Then, in that case, Hakeldama, Judas is buried there. At the Crusader time, all the pilgrims who came to here been buried there as well. Ah, I want you to see something nice. Look at those yellow cars. Not a way to enjoy the ride in Jerusalem. And while they are driving, they can hear uh, everything about the way that they are driving. I think it's a nice idea, um, especially when you have children. Then here it is. Beneath us, it's the Cinematic area. If you like quality. Um, uh, movies. This is the place. I love the place. I can see here um, uh, movies from all over the world. Usually, the one that you won't be able to see in the regular cinemas. Another thing that you can see here is the beginning of J uh, Judean Desert. And I don't know if you see that area. The, you can see the wall between Israel and the West Bank. Can you see it? Yeah, I think you can see it. Another thing that you can see here is that. Let me see if you can see this one. Uh, yeah, that, that hurt. See that string? Um, at 1948. That part was part of Jordan, or Jordan. That part was part of Israel, but it was in a way under siege. Then, in that case, to connect those two places only at night time, you can see a kind of a cable car and a cable used to bring people medicine, um, um, food, and other things. And it's funny to say they didn't know this, it, which is nice, isn't it? Then, let me show you some pictures. Yes, we can. First, let's go to here. Again, that was the border between Israel and Jordan. I actually didn't mention Palestine because Palestine never been exist as a country. The Jordanian here occupied Palestine. And the Palestinians didn't mind about it because it was part of Jordan. Then they actually accepted it. Uh, the Jordanian changed the name of Palestine to the West Bank. Then that is the West Bank, and this is Israel. And you can see the green car, green cars, not green, yellow cars, heading to through the Oz. Let me show it to you. While you can watch them, I want you to understand that the wall was built at the 16th century uh, by the. Ottomans it was built by Suleiman the Magnificent. Another thing that was built here is a dam. That part, you see the cars? That part, that part of the road was a 
dam that the water was stuck there because he took care not only about the walls of the city he took care about water because without water there's no existence then in that case I want you to understand see that and then the way up to Jaffa Gate I know that the sun is in your eyes but the road that you see and there's no cars here they're using carriages leads to Hell Valley, I mean, it's part of Hell Valley to Hakeldama. Then it's the road that you see right there. Now it's with, it's with concrete, I mean, it's uh, with asphalt. But that is the road, and until the British came, we have no asphalt. Um, it's unbelievable even to think about it. But you can see that there's another tour guide. I hope that you want. I won't disturb her. You can see a beautiful uh, Jewish area. Uh, you mean Moshe, which is now the, how should I say it in a nice way, the richest neighborhood of Jerusalem facing to Jerusalem. But until 1967, that was a dump area. People actually ran away and smart people bought it for nothing. And now they are the richest uh, people here of Jer in Jerusalem. And that picture from 1865 shows you the view from um, Valley of Hinnom, Hell Valley, to the area of Mishkanot uh, Shananim. Remember, what did you remember? That, the windmill, and then it was taken from down there of that neighborhood. You can see the windmill that Montefiore built for the Jewish people at the end of the 19th uh, century. Uh, there was only a few houses and nothing special was on it. And this one is from uh, 1900. It actually shows us the market at the Silton Park. Oops! Right here. I want you to remember that road. This is the dam. And the dam is right here, and what you see behind it is the market. At winter time, it used to be full with water. People used to enjoy water from there. But at summertime, just like now, as you can see, it's empty, no water. Today, they are using it as um, a summer theater. A lot of uh, beautiful uh, singers are there, a lot of shows. It's very nice, I must say. It's called the Sultan Pool, but that is part of Hell Valley. I don't know if you can hear the bells. Uh, it actually tells us that it's around 12 o'clock now. On the way to Jaffa Gate, we will see that it's kind of fountain that was built next to the Sultan Pool and um, uh, it was built on the um, dam and where it is? I don't know. I can see it. I can see it. Remember the dam? Right, this is the dam. We will take a little bit left. Oh, now, behind the tree. This is the, we call it Saville. Uh, they used to purify the salt or even to drink if you need it. But now when you know that view and you know that, I think it's a very good idea because although we didn't walk from there, you could see everything. And now we will continue all the way up for Jaffa Gate. Although, I need to know what's happening there. It looks like they're building it, because if not, I would know it. Ah, I will try to study, to read about it, and then I promise you, he will be one of the first ones who will walk through there. Then let me organize everything. I'm using uh, pictures of the first pictures of the city of Jerusalem it's an amazing book I'm not sure that you can buy it now anymore 
Um, but there's something in English, it's from 1978. Hallelujah for that. Then thank you for that. If you will be able to, be, uh, to buy it, we will uh, talk about it. What I wanted to remember is that beautiful building that was attached to the walls, but from the outside side, and the clock tower. Right? Just remember it. We do have time for that, but let me organize everything. We are part of the Jerusalem Walls National Park. You can see the whole city here, right here. And it actually goes around it. I already did it for you. Then Don Messi, Cinematech in Hebrew. I need to cross to the other side, but I'm not do that. <laughs> gonna do that here too. Dangerous. Yeah. Scooters is one of the Israeli businesses. It's not supposed to ride here. There's a road for it. Uh, there's always a traffic jam here. Huh. You can see Yemin Mashe and Mishkanotcha and Yemin. I don't know if you see part of the... Uh, it looks like a wall. But this is a roof of the first building that Montefiore, Sir Montefiore built for the Jews, but the Jews were from very, and they were afraid to live there. Old city surrounded with the walls, you know, against enemies, robbers, uh, wild animals. Then he built them beautiful houses with a kitchen and restrooms indoors, and he built a wall. I mean, he built it as a wall that, to, that they will feel protected. The first years they enter there, but they left um, their houses at night time and they stayed in Jerusalem inside the old city. Uh, later on, it's kind of the center, around 1860, people started to leave that place. Morning time, I asked myself, should I bring something long to wear? And I'm so happy that I say no. On Mount Zion, we didn't talk about it, there are some institutes, there's a beautiful uh, church and a monastery of the Greek Orthodox and there's a beautiful um, university of uh, um, I think American Protestant, which is there, and there's a historical Christian Protestant uh, slash Anglican uh, cemetery with so many names of so many people who've been here, and this is part of my history. I study according to them, and um, lately, two crazy Israelis. Um, let me see if I can enter to this to the silver bunker because I can see that the gate is open and you know if it's gated to open it means that I can go in uh, sneaking then they destroy some of the tombs a lot of the Israelis came to donate money to help uh, rebuild those uh, places but it's horrible that someone is doing it and because I'm here, you know that I will always talk about everything that happened there. And you can see part of the Sultan Pools and the theater. I can enter for free. Yay! Remember the cattle market right there in winter time there's a lot of water here summertime as you can see it's totally um, totally empty and dry and of course we need to see the view from the other side and let's climb there and I hope that they won't close the door uh, if not no I didn't bring any food with me 
then I will shout and cry but I need you to see everything it's beautiful from here isn't it and summertime Jerusalem it's a little bit chilly even in summertime it's beautiful now you can see the dam here and the water fountain from the picture that you saw is there this is the other side of it but i'm going soon to the ah uh, i'm going soon back to the exit sadly that one is not open then you will see it from the front the sultan pool beautiful isn't it and the windmill In the first almost the first neighborhood after the wall the one was that was built by Sir Montefiore he built up the windmill and said now you're gonna have even um, options to work it doesn't work a lot because there's not a lot of wind can you can you can you see if something is moving all right a little bit but not something to run on about I remember that it was here and the exit was somewhere somewhere yeah yeah I can see exactly where it is remember it was this row but no yay found it it's over 36 minutes if you reach that point, it means that you're special. And I want you to know it. And then please write something. And guess what? The gate is open. There was an ancient aqueduct that took the water from here to the city. Not a lot left from it. And we are, one side is Hell Valley, we, we are at the Silken Pool. That's the way to um, Mount Zion. And if you are walking, you can actually reach the western wall of the city of David from there. The bridge, it's somewhere there, the wooden bridge. And that is the water fountain, Seville, that was built by Suleiman the Magnificent, as I believe, 16th century. Remember we saw it in one of the pictures. Mount Zion was at the hands of the Israelis. The old city was at the hands of uh, uh, the Judeans. And you can see a tunnel that was built in a secret way. And people used to walk from here at night time, only at night time, to climb up to um, to Mount Zion. It's open air almost every day, I think not on Friday, and they close it at night time. They don't try to do it at night time. From here, there's another way to climb up to uh, Mount Zion, and I did it a few times, but we are going that way. And we have to cross the road. Until we will cross the road, remember this is an entrance church, the viewpoint, the first viewpoint with the tombs, uh, we call it the Bible uh, Hill, because according to the book of Joshua, it was mentioned as one of the border of uh, Judea, the tribe of Judea, and so many of us believe that it's part of it, the eye uh, hospital is there, and uh, now it used to be an hotel for so many years, and now they are building more wings uh, that will actually be part of it. And in about a few years, 
going to be a very important uh, hotel, very expensive one. But we are going through Heaven Road, which is up to Hebron Gate, Bab El Halil in Arabic, and we know it as Jabal. And this is Mount Zion French from 1948. It's difficult to reach the place, and let me show you how it looks like. But I'm not going to climb it because we do have. some videos of it there's so many stories that I can talk about it you can see that it was built with concrete uh, to avoid, I don't know, the rockets from the old city by the truth Indians and here we can see something this is the old city Mount Zion is behind us, then we are somewhere here and the tunnel took us from here all the way up that's the dam then it actually started from there and went through here and, this, and we are here climbing up to her place but today my dears Wow, I do have so many videos. I have more than 20,000 videos. And if it's the first video of mine, please be part of my family and subscribe. As you can see, I'm walking through the road. Uh, the people used thousands of years um, from Jerusalem to Bethlehem and Hebron. Hebron was a very important Jewish city. There are four holy Jewish cities. One of them is Hebron. Of course, Jerusalem is the second one. Tiberius, Sea of Galilee. Third one, and Tzfat, the city of the Kabbalah, is the fourth one. The other side, you can see beautifully uh, Mishkanot Chalamim and the meaning of share the first two neighborhoods. And there, you can see King David the Tower, which was built by the British and used to be, until now, I think, the most expensive and the famous hotel in Israel. The whole the celebs. The famous people used to stay there. I never been there. I mean, I've been there. I never stayed in one of the rooms. Oh, look at that! A little bit of color at the end of spring, beginning of summertime. You and didn't understand where we were that is the theater of today see the water fountain remember you saw it you saw it from that side when we've been in the theater and then i went up we saw it right there and uh, here you can see um st andrew church and the jewish neighborhood the first jewish neighborhood that Mr. Montefiore, Sir Montefiore built for us. All right, what we can see here. Now we can see a road. See that bus is now entering into it. All right. Remember that road. We can see another thing here. And for that, we need to go a little bit to here. You can see the wall of the city, the lower one, because of the way and we can see a fortress above us this is a fortress that was used by King Herod but actually by everyone who controlled the city because this is the upper side of the city behind it it's Jaffa Gate 
But what I want you to remember, that road, the wall of the city and the fortress. Now let's go to see it, because we can do that. I want to show you some pictures of it. But not from today, of course. We're using the same book. All right, let's look at the, that picture. But before that, you can see the fortress the, of King Herod that was used by the Ottomans. You can see the flag of it. Now, I'm sitting here watching that area. Then, you can see, the, remember, we saw the wall of the city and the fortress together with the mosque. And we saw the road. It used to be a moat. I'm talking about that road. You can see the taxi now trying to enter, entered into it. And the bicycle, right there. That was a moat. And that picture was taken in 1895. In 1898, the Sultan, the German Sultan, came to here and he said to the Ottomans, my dears, I'm not walking into the city. Me and my wife will use a carriage, then you must open part of the city for carriages. What you cannot see and you will see soon is, you can see in that picture, for example, this is the moat that they are starting to cover it to build the wall, the road for the Kaiser. And here you can see part of the wall of the city. Today, you can enter with a car straight into the city. Until 1989, 80, uh, 1898, you couldn't. There was a wall and a moat. And here they already started to cover it. And soon they will break the wall right there. In that picture from 1870, you can see the entrance to Jaffa Gate. You can see the wall and the moat. You can see it beautifully. It's not exist anymore. Today it's the road and that part of the world is not exist and that's heaven road without asphalt i'm sitting somewhere here watching that part <clears throat> look at that again 1870. this is already in 1898 remember when the, just before he came uh, to the enter i'm talking about the german kaiser to summarize <clears throat> Heaven Road, you can see it at 1870, no asphalt, and you can see here the Seville, the fountain, water fountain, Sultan Paul. We actually walk through here, that's the cinematic area, and we climbed all the way up. I'm sitting right there watching the a uh, fortress of King Herod and here in, in 1870 there's a moat and a road to enter you have to enter through Jaffa Gate but not through the road that you can see in front of you right now and uh, a few years later in 1833 you can see that the road looks much better no asphalt yet but you can see carriages horses remember we went all the way I entered to the pools, the Sultan pools, to the theater. You can see the Seville. That will be later on the tunnel to Mount, Third Mount Zion. And as you can see that everything is naked here. And the main heaven road that goes all the way to Jaffa Gate at, at 1833. There was still a moat and uh, a road. Uh, a road wasn't there. You couldn't enter with carriages. From now days, you can do that. The last option for us: road goes all the way to here. The entrance is from Jaffa Gate, from there. But you can see here beautifully the moat, the wall of the city, and the fortress. The moat. Oh, I can see the green car, the yellow car, the yellow cars again. The moat is the road. The first uh, wall is here, and um, the, uh, the tower of today they call it Tower of David, but David never been there. 
It's more like a King Herod been there. And what we are going to do, we're going to climb up together, like the cars, through the moat, together with our Kaiser itself and Augusta Victoria is why. And we will enter to the city and you will see that there's no wall uh, anymore and we can enter into the city without any problems. Remember the cover of the, um, uh, the book was with Jaffa Gate and the clock tower. Let me show it to you. And then I will drink a little bit and climb what is that. Oh, it's look beautiful. He is now praying uh, through Mecca. It's beautiful to see it. He's actually, yes, I believe he's a taxi driver and he stopped to pray. This is, this is, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Then let me show you what I mean. This, first of all, this is Jaffa Gate at 1870. That's the entrance. The wall is here. You cannot enter through it. Now you can actually. This is Jaffa Gate. I hope that you can see something. Um, that's the main entrance. The road will be to the right side. But what I want you to see here is the clock tower that the British didn't like. And you will see what's happened with it. And the houses, especially that triangle roof and the building that were attached to that. All right, let me organize myself and we have to climb up. It's, wow, already 51 uh, minutes. Oh, I didn't know that's going to take a lot of time, but I hope that you're going to like it because I think it's a lot of history and you will understand the city much better now. How do I know that God is with us? Because I just finished talking about everything and I said that I'm going and now he is actually cleaning that area and it's so noisy and we are so happy and, and look at that there's another uh, Muslim guy that prays here it's beautiful to see it then let's run away from that noise and let's cli uh, climb up through the road and which was uh, used to be a moat Now, to that entrance, not every car can enter. Why? Because, uh, think about it, it's all city, there are lots of tourists, very narrow streets, not everyone can do that, and only people who got the permit to go in can do that, and the first car, don't. Then you have to go all the way out to look for a um, parking place. Um, all right, that's why there's an exit from there to cars without a permit. Who's got permits? Usually there are people who live here and there are 40,000 people that live here. And uh, taxes. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Then, remember, Fortress of King Herod, you can see the uh, mosque from the Muslim time, and the more uh, the wall of the city. We are climbing the moat together with Kaiser in 1898. See part of the wall. Climbing up, climbing up. Jaffa Gate is one of the eight gates of Jerusalem, and uh, it used to be it used to be second best after um, Damascus Gate, but at the British time and even before that, at the Ottoman time from 1870. There were so many neighborhoods here and so many pilgrims arrived to Jaffa Cake. The Jaffa Cake is going to be very important. Look at that yellow train. If you want to continue from Jaffa Gate to the Western Wall, 
and you don't want to walk a lot, you can do that through here, through that. Then we're climbing Jaffa Gate. Remember the fortress with the flag of the Ottomans? It was right there. And see where the taxi, the white taxi is? That was used to be the wall. You couldn't enter through here until 1918. And I want to show you a little bit of the moat. Not a lot, no, but it's a road. Then let's run, 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 run. Remember the wall? Boat was all the way to here and we are floating on the moat heading to the other side. Okay, clock tower. That left part of the building, clock tower was there. And the house with a triangle roof. You can see the mark that left that in 1922. Uh, the British said the clock tower is ugly. Then they destroyed it. And then they said the Jaffa Gate must be empty uh, from uh, houses. You need to see it. It's very important to see it. Then in that case they destroyed all the houses that were attached to the wall. Then you know exactly that the wall was right here. You can see part of it, the mark of it. Jaffa Cake. And this is the end of our story today. And uh, thank you for being with me. And if we reach 57 minutes, if you reach that point, you must tell me that you did it. And please tell me if uh, the primitive way of looking the, at the pictures are okay. And should I continue with it? I will be happy to do that. That's the main entrance of Jaffa Gate before they destroy the wall. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.